Hey kindergarten, it is Mrs. Shivani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. How are you guys today? I hope that you are doing really well and are ready and excited for another math lesson because I know I am. And today is a fun one. We are going to keep expanding our knowledge of sorting. And today we're going to work on sorting into three different categories. So I am ready for that. We will still have our five lessons, or our five parts, excuse me, of math as always. We'll start off with our fluency. We'll go into our warm up, our application problem. We'll do our main part of our lesson, our concept development. We will talk about what we learned, and then you'll get to show me what you learned in our Google form at the end. All right, are you ready? I'm excited. Here we go. So, we will today, our objective, and remember, our objective is what do we want to have learned by the end of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you will be able to classify, that's that fancy math word we use, items into three categories, another fancy math word, and count to see how many there are. All right, but first, we'll start off with our fluency. So here we go. This is a fun game called green light, red light. You might have played this before when you run at green and you stop at red. This one's a little different because it's a math game. So we're going to start and stop counting using the numbers below. You'll start with a number under the green dot and count until you get to the number under the red dot. So we have to look at these numbers and think what number is this? That's the number one. And what number is this? Three. So we're going to start counting at one and stop counting at three. Ready? Let's put up our hands to match what we're counting. One, two, three. Stop. Good. All right, let's do the next one. Start at one, stop at five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. Good. Okay, let's do the next one. Ooh, this time we're starting at two and stopping at four. Two. Can you put two fingers up? Here we go. Three, four. Stop. Good. All right, let's do the next one. Start at three, stop at five. So let's put three fingers up. Three. Go. Four, five. Stop. Good, we're counting on. When you start at a number and then you count the next number, that's called counting on. So I don't have to count all these fingers. I know there's three, so I'm just gonna start at three and then go four, five. All right, let's do another one. Ooh, wait a second. This time we're starting at three and we're counting down to one. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, stop. Good. All right, I like this game. Five, put all five fingers up and we're gonna count down and stop at one. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Good. Okay, last one. Start at five again and stop at three. Here we go. All five fingers. Five, four, three, stop. <laughs> Good work. Okay, now this is a fun game. We are going, oh, there's supposed to be a dice here. Let me, oh, there it is. We're going to roll the die and count the dots on the die. And then we will put that many candles on the birthday cake. Is anybody's birthday this month? <laughs> we'll pretend we're singing just to you or decorating the birthday cake just for you. Then, Without removing the candles, we'll roll the dice again and we'll adjust the number of candles to show the new number. So let's roll together. Ooh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can supertize three and three. That makes six. Okay, help me count. Tell me when to stop. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Okay, let's double check our work. In math, it's always, always good to double check, right? So let's double check, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
We did it. Okay, let's roll again one more time. Oh no, six again. <laughs> we wouldn't have to change anything. Let's try one more time. Two. Okay, so hmm. One, two. So I don't need any of these. Let's take it off. Okay, let's make sure this matches. Two, one, two. We got it. All right, let's get into our application problem for the day now. So in our classrooms, I love to sort my students. We play games this way. We match people up this way. We do lots of sorting in our classroom. Sometimes I sort kids who are wearing pants and who are wearing shorts. I love to sort kids by the color uniform shirt they're wearing too. A lot of kids might wear a light blue uniform short shirt or some kids might wear like a burgundy color shirt and I sort kids by that way too. Can you think of in your family right now or whoever's around you, how could you sort the members of your family? Hmm, I could sort the members of my family by who's awake and who's sleeping. So my son is taking a nap right now so i would say he is asleep and me and my husband and my husband and i were awake so i could sort them the members of my family by who's sleeping and who's awake and how could you sort the members of your family think about it all right let's do our concept development now so we sorted a bunch of items yesterday. Today, we're going to do another sorting activity. Remember, our objective today is to sort into one, two, three categories. So let's think, which of these things down here might you use or see or wear when it's sunny? What might you use or see or wear when it's rainy? And what might you use here wear when it's snowing. So you can blurt out with me. Would you use this in sun, rain, or snow? Here we go. Jacket. Hmm, this looks like a rain jacket, so I'm going to call this rain. What about this? Oh, this person's ice skating. Sun, rain, or snow? Blurt. Snow. Oh, we have some mittens. Sun, rain, or snow? Blurt. Snow. Umbrella, sun, rain, or snow? Rain, good. Sand bucket, sun, rain, or snow? Sun, ooh, there's a winter hat. Sun, rain, or snow? Snow, I kind of gave it away when I said win a winter hat, huh? Okay, snowman, sun, rain, or snow? Blur, snow, good. Here is a umbrella with some sand. Sun, rain, or snow? Sun, yes, that's like a beach umbrella. Different from that umbrella. Sun, sunglasses. Sun, rain, or snow? Blur. Sun, beach ball. Sun, rain, or snow? Blur. Sun, ooh, sledding. Sun, rain, or snow? Blur. Snow, and rain boots. Sun, rain, or snow? Rain, <laughs> it's easy when it's like sun, glasses, sun, rain, boots, rain, <laughs> snowman, snow. That's funny, let's do this one more time. So here we're going to think about how we can show where each of these things goes. Hmm, so let's see. Where might this apple go? Would it go in a vase? Would it go in a fridge? Or would it go in a house? Hmm. Apple, flirt. I think fridge, yeah. What about flower? Face, what about milk? Fridge, what about chair? House, what about bed? House, what about grapes? Fridge, what about burger? Mm. Fridge, flower, vase, lamp, house. Good one. All right, let's talk about what we've learned now. How did you decide where to put these pictures? Well, I thought about, hmm, 
the flowers, I know that they go in a vase because they need water and you put water in a vase. And I know that milk and apples, hamburger, grapes, they all need to stay cold. So I know they belong in the fridge. And the chair, the bed, the lamp, those are items that I see in my home. So I put them in a home. Are there some things at home that you would have put into one of the weather groups? Maybe, maybe you might have put these flowers in like the summer group. Maybe in like the sun. I think that would have been a good idea. Anything else you can think of? I'm sure you can think of lots of good ideas. All right, let me show you our exit ticket for the day. So on your Google form, you will do that exit ticket you just saw you will go to your Google form and it says, cross out what doesn't belong. So just think of, you can't really cross it out, but you can think about what doesn't belong. We have a helmet, a bat, basketball, and a baseball. Hmm, I know that this basketball does not go along with the other three items. All of these three things are used for baseball. This basketball is not. How many are left if we don't have that one? One, two, three. So I would choose the number three. Then you would do the same. Think about what doesn't belong, how many are left. Think about what doesn't belong, how many are left. And then choose which one and click submit when you're done. All right, kiddos, that was lesson five for module one. We're already through lesson five. We're going through these so quickly, but I'm so proud of you. Great job today with our fluency, with our subitizing, with our counting on. I liked the red light, green light game. Let's play that one again sometime. We sorted into three different categories and you rocked that. I can't wait to see how you guys do in your Google form today. I will see you guys again for lesson six. Adios.